Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of The Speed Bag. Today, a little segment I like to call, well, that was crazy. But was it wrong? On Saturday night, a UFC title fight ended in a draw for the first time in a little over five years. UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley just could not put away the wonder man Stephen Thompson, though he came agonizingly close in the fourth round of their UFC 205 title fight. Then it went to the judges, and things got a little weird. Two of the three judges scored it even, 47-47. The third judge scored it 48-47 in favor of Woodley. Now that makes it a majority draw, and if you want to know how rarely that happens in UFC fights, all you had to do was look at UFC announcer Bruce Buffer, who called out the wrong result, even when the numbers were staring him right in the face. Poor Buffer. And usually, you know, his job is so easy. Like, kind of stupidly easy. Because it is literally just reading words off of a note card. Where things get interesting, though, is when you look at the actual scorecards. Because me, I heard 47-47, and I immediately assumed that both those judges scored round four as a 10-8 for Woodley. You know, which would make sense, right? He almost knocks Thompson out, then he almost chokes him out. It was the most dominant round of the fight by far for either fighter. But turns out only one judge actually scored it that way. The other judge, Doug Crosby, scored round one as a 10-8 for Woodley, and round four as your regular old 10-9. To put that in perspective, what he's really saying there is that a round in which you know, Thompson landed a few more kicks, stayed a little more active, is roughly equivalent to a round in which Woodley almost removed his head. I also have a hard time saying that the first round where Woodley you know, took Thompson down, roughed him up on the mat a little bit, but never came close to finishing, is you know, more dominant than the round in which Woodley almost ended the entire fight several times. Now, in his defense, Doug Crosby sucks as a judge. But also in his defense, the judge who gave it to Woodley, Glenn Troutbridge, he scored it that way without giving a single 10-8 round to anybody, despite some of the huge differences between some of these rounds. So basically what you have here is three different judges, three different scorecards, and one majority draw in the end. And so I guess what I'm asking here is, did they somehow get it right, even while getting it individually totally wrong? Because a draw, that honestly feels like the right result to me. You know, Woodley came closer to ending the fight, had the far more dominant moments. Thompson controlled more of the total fight overall, won more of the rounds. But when you see these scorecards, that's when it starts to feel like the kid who aced the SATs was just, you know, using the bubbles on his Scantron to spell out, I want to go to Harvard, please. You know, they can't show their work. They got to the right destination by taking a bunch of wrong turns. And it's weird because I feel like a lot of us have been saying for a long time, judges need to give out more 10 eights. They need to reflect the difference between winning a round by a little and winning it by a whole lot. You know, don't fear the draw. And so here was one that felt like initially, maybe we're making some improvement there. And then you see the scorecards and you realize there's no great logical reason for how they arrived at this decision. So maybe we shouldn't feel encouraged after all. And if you're one of the fighters counting on these people to arrive at a logical and fair decision on arguably the most important night of your professional life, I'm not so sure that you should feel encouraged either. Mm -hmm.